Back we go. Yes, back we go. Frame three. I agree with JP and Steve. Yeah, he was unlucky, wasn't he? Going into the pack. Those type of things should hopefully even themselves out as the final goes on. Safety there from Judd. Now this will give us an idea of what John Higgins's plan will be. He only hit the main bunch of reds. Will he play the thick contact or the thin one? Well, he could just get through to the, the red by the black, but that tells you he doesn't really want to open the reds up if he can avoid it early on in the frame. ago it was wasn't it when they met in the final 2011 John Higgins experience just got the better of this young man then but he's a lot more measured player now is Judd Trump safety players come on leaps and bounds To the corner. I think John Higgins was worried, but Green has come to his rescue. type of shots oh, a lot of respect for each other out there yeah. yeah this does look like a re-rack could be in the offing John looks at Judd and right. he has yeah. a nod yes <laughs> it's a common thing these days isn't it? the, the re-rack it happens a lot there's the trophy the silver lady awaiting the winner. A little beautiful silver lady on the top of the trophy. 1927, this championship started. Mm. Hazel was mentioning about the, the, the record span if John was to win of 21 years. That would beat the great Joe Davis's record, actually, of 19 years of a span between his first and last. Yeah, I remember once talking to Fred Davis, and he said, I said, what would Joe made of the Crucible Two Tables? He said he'd refused to have played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first championship actually, 1927, was played in Birmingham. John Higgins to break. Camkins Hall. So, take two, frame three, off we go. Two reds for the price of one there. Yeah, the first one too thin. That's why he caught the second one and he's left a red on. But there's a path for John to this red to the left corner. He's got a little bit of work to do with the cue ball. It's one of these you don't want to hit it too thin if you miss it. The flick on the blue helped nicely. Now there's one red that looks to be available just above the black, but perfect angle on the green to go into them, should he so wish. Oh, what a 
a bonus. Into the cue ball properly. Take that, there you see it. Sometimes you just make sure of the pot. Concentrate and getting deep enough on it. Good result though. Five. One or two reds that are available. Certainly a red into the same pocket as the black. And just going round to see if there's one available into the right corner. He's not got an angle on the black where he, he can play a cannon, so needs precise position here. Five ball. And obviously there is a red that goes. I think it's third in from the right. Three reds in the line, the right hand side Twelve. one. There it is. I think he may just be able to play the run through. Stop he you. did, played it nicely. This is one of his particularly straight on the black, or as you can see, there's a red on the left side of the cluster that will be available and may even be available to the right middle, which might be the easier way to get on it. He decided, rather than playing the right middle, he'd play it with pace. Now, I don't think he can get position on the black, Thanks. so what he's going to have to do, play a deep screw off the main bunch, back up for blue. It will be bringing reds into play. Looking to see if he can drop it in. Cannon one red and stay on the black, but this might be a good opportunity to play the deep screw. But he's not doing. Yeah, the, the, the red he's pushing, he's trying to push it below the black. See that? Brilliant shot. 21. So now he's got to go into the cluster. Not the angle on the black to play for the red just below it. He needs this cannon to work out. Has he always oh, got one to the middle? Is it still on? Just about. He's having a close look, but from Fred where hit. I'm sitting, he looks like he's on it. Yeah, coming back. The actually the glancing blow off the other red helps this shot. See? 29. It just helps you control the cue ball. It gives you a little buffer rather than a direct screw shot. So prime position then. I know it's early days in this match, but this is a very important visit, I feel, for John Higgins. As he looks to get another 43 points from this visit, which is... Six reds. 57. Needed. There's one of them. Black to follow. Reds in the open. Just needs to keep tight control of the cue ball. But in these situations, you need to show to your opponent, you make one mistake, I'm going to win a frame in one visit. This 44. is his chance. Make Judd think. Forty-five. Fifty-two. Little shake of the head there from John. It's just a little awkward, and the reason these shots are awkward, it's where you put the rest head. I remember Steve Davis used to have a little implement that used to put on the top of the, the rest to, to make it cueable. He's going to try and reach this without the, the rest, but he'll be at full stretch. If that cue ball had just bounced off a fraction, it would have been so much easier. See, with the, he's trying to get it in between the, 
The guy is so difficult. Yep. He thinks the way to play is using the spider. Even more difficult now. Yeah, using the spider side on like that it, it isn't really doable these days because there's a little bevel on the side of it. It's not a V. Mm. I think he's going to have to try and stretch here. Here's Mark Williams. <laughs> he said, where's Mark Williams when you need him? I think he can get this with the rest. The problem is he's going to have to put the rest head a bit closer to the cue ball. Yeah. Which, obviously, leverage then is more difficult. I think he should be all right here. It's not easy, though. And in the end, he just made sure that the red <laughs> put the kiss on the pink. It's worked out nicely. Jocular comment that he made. It might just relax him a tad. Obviously it helps the fact he played a good shot. Now natural then up for the red. Yeah, good shot. So 60 in front. <laughs> two reds, two colours. 60. Sixty-one. This red will put him 67 points in front, 66. with 67 remaining. So just the red and the colour needed to leave Judd Trump needing a couple of snookers. Needs a black only, but looking to get on the red, he doesn't want to have a, a battle with Judd Trump trying to get a couple of snookers. And he's on the red, the insurance red. There's Pierce on the left, Oliver in the middle, and little Claudia. John's children up on the balcony watching their dad. 75. And he's got his first frame on the board. I think the smile say it all. But it was important, and it was an important visit, as I said at the time. And just that little problem. 82. And he had a, that awkward position with the rest, Ed. But uh, once he'd overcome that little hurdle, He's cued these very well. 83. All in the heart of the pocket. Good performance. Don't forget a chance. 90. Yeah, he was the first green of the break. John was fortunate, wasn't he? Didn't get deep enough, caught the pink, landed on a red. The thing about that is John, <laughs> and this is to his credit, by the way, he doesn't feel guilty about it. He gets on with it. This has been superb. Come on, then. Oh, very good. Thank you. Thank you. So are we going to see the first century of the final here? John has already had eight. 
record was 86. That was beaten a couple 18. of days ago. On to century number 89. This would be the 90th. And he's there for all money now. <laughs> Wonderful. As we say, a little bit of luck. Great. Can out! Can out! We love that! 104. One hundred and five. And queuing really well. Good signs for the rest of the match, and particularly today's play. As I say, the way it will be done, these four sessions, first session, eight frames, nine frames tonight. 112. Tomorrow afternoon, eight frames, and then a possible ten to play to the finish. Nothing makes you feel better than a nice century and striking the ball nicely. Had a couple of half chances, particularly in the second frame, where he's a bit unlucky. He potted the blue and cannon the pink and finished near the side cushion. 121. So that little bit of good fortune when he played the cannon off the green in this frame evens itself out, particularly over these longer matches. 126. And this has been delightful. Just what the doctor ordered. 132. What a wonderful play from John Higgins. First decent chance he had. OK, a bit of luck at the beginning. But he took them with a plum and has laid down the marker for Judge Trump. You leave me half a chance and I can win frames in one visit.